Congressman, yes, we do have a policy against uh, allowing. Well, I know you have a policy, but will you take the sites down today? You still have 12 people up on your site doing this. Will you take them down? Some tense and heated moments on Capitol Hill as the CEOs of Facebook, Twitter, and Google testified before lawmakers, including Congressman Mike Doyle. Now, lawmakers want to try to put a stop to what they are calling misinformation online. Political editor John Delano reports that Congressman Doyle says he expects Congress to take action. The hearing focused on social media's role in promoting extremism and misinformation. And Chairman Doyle wasted no time laying into three heavyweights. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, Google CEO Sundar Pichai, and Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. Referring to the attack on the Capitol, Doyle asked, Mr. Zuckerberg, I just want a yes or no answer, okay? Yes or no, do you, do you bear some responsibility for what happened? Congressman, our responsibility is to make sure that we build effective systems okay, to help fight the Okay, the gentleman chooses not to answer the question. Each ducked the question, but Zuckerberg focused on former President Trump, whose Facebook account was taken down. Now, I believe that the former president should be responsible for his words, and that the people who broke the law should be responsible for their actions. Pichai said Google removed content that promoted Trump's claim about a stolen election. After the December 8th safe harbor deadline for states to certify elections, we removed content from YouTube that alleged widespread fraud changed the outcome of the election. Dorsey said it's hard to please everyone when they ban or tag Twitter accounts. Many of you will have strong opinions on how effective we are in this work. Some of you will say we're doing too much in removing free speech rights. Some of you will say we're not doing enough and end up causing more harm. Republicans were also critical of these CEOs, saying they censored conservative speech. There's a big difference between stopping bullying and, and violent type of social media posts versus actual censorship of political views that you disagree with. These three CEOs didn't have any supporters uh, in, in either party, so I think they understand the gravity of what we're about to do uh, based on what they've failed to do. Now, Doyle tells me that Congress is considering bills to let people sue social media platforms for posting lies, and may also create a new federal agency to regulate social media. John Delano, KDKA News.